Hi, good afternoon everybody and welcome. It is Laura and I am pleased and proud to present to you Men's Spring of 24. So today we're gonna to be focusing on all the great gents in our lives, all the men's, whether it's a friend, a, mother, a father, a nephew, a cousin, all those great guys. And we have a great surprise for you because we are introducing Lay Artiste for Men. So we're gonna talk about Lay Artiste for Men's today and we're also gonna talk about Spring Step for Men. So all about the men's and let's talk a little bit about the lay artiste for men's and what it all represents so i'm going to put a i want to put something on the screen here for you because basically really what i want to talk about is what men's is all about i purposely wanted you to see this nice spread if you're following along with the catalog of course we're going to go in catalog order you're going to see on page 64 and 65 a gorgeous spread and why is that so important it's important because what we're doing is we're introducing layartes for men for spring you know our first launch was this current fall so please be sure to check it out we have some styles that are in stock but really the takeaway here is that you can see how beautiful the 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 men in our lives and the ladies look at how they just complement each other it's just a beautiful beautiful package and remember lay artiste also has handbags and who is the lay artiste man well that man he is self-asserted just as she is and of course lay artiste men's they are just undeniably unique with those unexpected materials and as it really says it's experiencing the difference we're going to make sure we have all that that comfort right in there and of course he's gonna enjoy the attention because after all lay artiste is all about making a statement really showing and shining that individuality of that 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 man and that woman that's in our lives and really you know the, the lay artiste man he enjoys everything from a fine wine to a fun tailgate party just as it says and he is just gonna have fun and something else that we notice about when we you know are introducing the men's and the ladies is that crazy enough but ladies they love to shop for those men in their lives and this way they can take that great experience that they have with their own lay artiste and they can go ahead and share it with their men so let's get started with spring of 24 lay artiste men so we're gonna get started with the first style and what I really want to shout out is I told you that it is in fall this style here is Buford so he is in our full book he is available and what we're doing for spring is a really nice new color the new color right there it's on the model it's a really great handsome look it's a bone color almost a beige and when I talk about comfort because of course they're great looking but we want to make sure we're building in comfort and look at this this is how we're doing it so we're gonna give them that nice removable insole if you really look at it this is a signature you know it's a signature in really all of our brand specifically as we get into like the spring step you see all that great nice cushioning and comfort that it brings but as I also get to the style let's talk about styling because all the inspiration really did come from lay artiste and this is no exception you're gonna see right here with the breadth of the colors I hope you can see the beautiful burnishings everything that is hand done we are giving him something super duper handsome we are gonna give him a little bit of it's a it, it's really a playoff I look at like a beautiful flannel wool suit you have that brogue wing tip and what that's going to do it's really giving this beautiful visual interest to the style and of course we're going to give him a little sporty look with that really nice outsole because we want to keep him nice moving and active and look at how smart that looks on the model so that's our first style that's our introduction to how we really are incorporating all of that great comfort features the next style is falcon street smart that's how i'm going to describe him we are taking right now all those great pieces from our lay artiste, which means the tooling, the hand painting right here. You're going to see, we are going to blend that so ever so nicely and handsomely right there with a little bit of a print. I'm gonna showcase the blue for you because I really like to say I'm always denim friendly, but it just has a really nice, great style and flare. How we're gonna bring in that flare, look at the eyelets, they're square. So when we talk about really expressing yourself and being 
unique. This is really the style for him. You're going to see that outsole, giving him a two-tone outsole, giving him something active. In the tan, you're going to get that gum with the white. Really nicely done, rounded toe shape, and of course, padding and that removable insole that I showed you. These, you can also follow along in the book. These are leather. They are leather combos. They are just a really great accent. Next style is Elder. And as you can see, we're getting into that really sharp look where we're taking a wingtip design right there in the toe and we're going to give him perforations. So what a really nice way to interpret that. Really nice welt. And also remember, we're light. We have a little bit of that flex to him, but we're giving him a lot of structure. And you can see the great colorations. The other standout is the actual outsole color really nice on this really deep navy so color is our style we love to have a lot of color and a lot of fun and wait till you see this next little group that i have to show you so this next little group it's a loafer but look at the great fun on the loafer now here's the great thing about this we're bringing in a lot of pattern bringing in a lot of materials and the great part about all the pattern is he can wear it, whether he has solids, whether he has a little pattern or print. I mean, check out, we have our great model here with a little printed sock. How great does that look? And another thing is, really, as we look at the apparel, yes, the hemlines are a little shorter, showing off the shoes, really nice, and his name is Emmanuel. So just take notice of that great design. As we talk about that really nice, whole look we're going to kick him up a notch and look at this we're giving it a tapestry look bringing in the blacks bringing in the gold i use the word very handsome you can see it's a little dressier because you have a black outsole just like the previous style we're going to give him a really nice smart looking bit and we always say this he doesn't need a special occasion to wear these into dress up this is everyday nice just getting you know, feeling good about yourself. Really, that's what it really all comes down to. The next style in the program, we're taking again, there is that nice tapestry that we have, bringing in a little bit of that, that floral design, but look, we're giving him a cap toe. You can see the burnishing. Remember, La Artiste is about hand painting, and it also goes for our gents, for our fellas. So I'm just gonna kind of turn this around because he has a very traditional Oxford, which means he's a lace up front, but take notice of the back. So we're giving that really nice burnished look right there in the back. And giving him a really exceptional way to express himself with an Oxford. That style name is Wiseman. So as you notice, that little part I showed you earlier was a little dressier loafer. Now we have our Jonas, as in the brothers. So we're going to take him a little bit more casual. And the casualness comes in, too, with the outsole. So the outsole is a light color. It's that um, It has that faux stacked look. So giving him a little casualness. And also, take notice of the toe shape. So the toe shape, he's a little bit more round. We are getting, giving him right here a wealth that goes right around really accentuating and it's all the details I just have to tell you look at the tooling right here on this side all the way to the back even when I showed you that little bit of that welt there that's all tooling and then we're gonna get into a really pretty um, print as I want to say nice fresh colors for spring and anything goes now the next style, still on that Jonas. So I'm gonna take that same construction, that same exact look, and we're just gonna jazz him with different materials. So this actually is on our front cover of our catalog, and he's just a really standout, just a really wow piece, bringing in a lot of the great colors, and it has a velvet look to it and feel, because it is velvet. So really it gives him something, I'm gonna use the word dapper, because that's the adjective that comes to mind, but we're really accenting with really pretty I'm going to say more the turquoise and the blues and just think of all the great occasions he can wear them to. So speaking of occasions, brings me up to this style. This is where it started. This is our Jonas. This is in our current fall catalog, so be sure to check it out. Be sure to check out the inventory, but just look at how really smart and gorgeous and rich. It's the richest of the materials that really are outstanding. We talk about, you know, experiencing the difference. The difference will be in, of course, the look, getting that attention and also in the comfort. I can't express enough all removable insoles with all that great cushioning that you have. And just, you can see it right there on our model's foot. 
next style. So that really had a really great flair. So our next style is going to be another traditional Oxford. Let's give him a little bit of lace up. This is in our current fall book. And the outstanding here is you can see there is the cap toe, a little bit more of that polish for that nice shine, that really elegant look. And you can see we're bringing in some materials here that have a little bit of the print. I do just want to give a little shout out because we're always talking about the comfort and everything that we're going to actually give a little bit here of little side gorings because we want to make sure that very comfortable and easy in and easy out this style is nico this is really where it all started nico has been with us you can see all the great colorations and the burnishing a very traditional wingtip and as i said before the wingtip and especially with the colors and the burnishing really just gives this great visual interest he will always look so handsome and polished and of course i do want to just point out that outsole because i love very much how you have you know you have that black bottom right here but look at the stacked heel it has like a two-tone coloration really on trend and really smart so we can make our fellows look so great and handsome or I should say we should enhance that because they're already handsome Calder this is our next style we're getting into a little bit more of a different toe shape we're giving him a little bit more pointy remember we are the house of European comfort I always like to remind you of that because it's our last we're using European last so we're gonna get a little bit more room where he needs it although we have a pointed toe so really nice silhouette very handsomely done and it goes down to all that great burnishing in details. Speaking of that kind of a style and that kind of look, well, here's Yodders. Again, we had him in fall. We have him currently, so please check it out. Nice, really polished look, giving him an ever so slightly, I hope you can see it has an iridescence to him. Just really, again, being smart, getting out there and having that fashion element. I always like to say this before I close with the lay artiste is that I know a lot of fellows that have larger closets than us ladies. So let me just tell you something. This really is going to be a really great expansion to his wardrobe. Now, I hope you enjoyed that lay artiste. That was super duper fun. Now we're going to get into our spring step for men's. And basically what that is, it's a little bit more traditional, really having more of those traditional styles. And of course, you're going to see all that comfort along the way. Before I get into styles for 24, I want to share selling with you you and selling means our top 10 styles so what are those top 10 styles number one is Chris wow no exception they are super duper lightweight and sporty I love how we see some sporty looks getting right up there into the top numbers number two is our Logano number three is Serrano four is a Bisco you'll see some really nice removable insoles Nico is another great style number five number six is Anders seven is Espino eight is Bane nine is Felix and 10 is Crispin so just a nice really rounded out assortment as far as lifestyle and I hope throughout this whole presentation you're really seeing how we're rounding out that whole lifestyle for these wonderful fellas in our lives so let's get started right into the product for spring step number one style in your catalog as you're following along is style fado we're going to talk first about more of these loafers so you're going to see things that are casual things that we can dress up and the greatness here is number one so lightweight a little bit of that deconstructed but look at how flexible in a I'm going to say in a fella style, you want to have him to have be flexible as well. So really nice colors. You can see the great burnishing there, a black and a brown. You're going to hear me say probably black and brown a lot, but we want to also inject in different kind of textures, different types of burnishings and finishings because that's really what elevates it. The next style is Fabiano, giving him a nice handsome bit. The bit is more of a gunmetal look to really give him that um, really subdued look there's the burnishing really nice toe shape and as I talk about we're giving look at the flexibility for a great style like that it's wonderful I always say slip it on and go and you always look nice stylish and polished because really that's what it's all about you don't have to wait for a special occasion Paul 
Paul is new to our to our collection and as you can see here we've got great colors I told you not just black and brown we're giving in here a little bit more of that lighter brown that taupe color really stands out beautifully giving him that penny right here very traditional really always on trend because it's timeless and the leathers I do want to remind you that in our spring step collection they are all leather leather lined leather right inside and a lot of these have removable insoles so please do follow along and check your catalog for all those great details his name is Paul look at the value I also want to shout out spring step value because we're really all about bringing in value as well Ezra very traditional it's a monk strap style this is now on more of that dressy part you can see the great toe shape and we're going to bring in and give that visual interest right there on that cap toe but look at how we've done it really beautifully done has a great hand touch to him where you can see that burnishing and just an elegant look if i may say so myself so that's our style ezra our next style gives a little bit nod to a casual style. So we're going to give that burnishing right there. You can see it has a little bit of a design to give interest. And what I really like to point out about here is that when you look inside, you know, it's all about the details for us. You look inside, even the lining in here, I always say it reminds me of the silkiness of the inside, possibly of a men's suit. Just so well done. And he will know that every time he puts his foot into these beautiful styles. And that is our style Brando. Still staying within this dress category comes our next Charlie. Charlie is here and you can see the great burgundies. You can see this really pretty rich brown and of course black. Black is always a staple for us. I like you to see that outsole, that heel. Look at his dimension. And here what we're doing is we're gonna give him a really nice welt. All these little details just really elevate the style and bring a really nice elegance. So we are getting dressed up. We are going out. So are the fellas, whether it's work or he's going out, so these dress styles, they just really fit the bill. We're gonna get into something next a little bit more casual. We do a really nice job, really successful with moccasins. Luciano, you're gonna see him as a really nice casual style. It's all these beautiful materials. So it's a suede material. You're going to see right here, it has like that croco print right there. You're gonna see around here instead of a ornamentation in metal we're going to take a rope and we're actually going to wrap it in leather giving him something new giving him something fresh has a nod to a traditional boat shoe you'll see it right there on the side giving a little bit of the details right there in the back and look at that that is all that great flexibility. And how are we achieving that? Well, there's no midsoles in there. So it's the way we actually are constructing it. It has to do with the construction. Our next style is Jared. And I just wanna take one moment because I just wanna give you that really great friendly reminder about the removable insoles. On this one specifically, you'll see on the screen, ranked number 11, and look what we're building in. We're building in right here where the heel is, a little bit of that shock absorber we're going to put it right in the center that metatarsal right there also so really nice easy removable insole and then of course the style pebbled leather gives it a rich feel a rich finish and a little bit more I want you to see the bottom um not exactly a driver mock but just that little bit traditional nod to a driver mock ranked number 11 getting into more of these moccasins, really nice and easy and casual. So there's no reason why you don't have to wear your, your athletics all the time. Put something nice on. Here's a nice, great style. Pin dots here, but I'm gonna tell you he's lined, so it's not going all the way through. Love very much how this toe shape has that very traditional stitching to give it that mock toe design and look. And then as far as the outsole, well, we're gonna give him a nice little protection right up here in the back. And I do want you to see flat with just ever so much of a sliver, bringing in all that comfort and that quality. 
Next style is Crispin, ranked number 10. Yes, that is in our top 10. So there's perforations. What I can tell you about him is we're gonna take those perforations. Yes, they're perforations that come all the way through. We're gonna take the perforations, not just on the top vamp. We are gonna bring it all the way around to the side. I want you to see the back just so you can kind of get an idea of what the back looks like. And it goes down to that burnishing. This tan, this brown here is so rich. And I just do this. So remember, as we always talk about the ladies, these are great for traveling. So when you want to just be on the go, you're traveling, this is really the answer. Sito, another great style. We're giving that pebbled leather look and finish. Nice, and it's just a classic when I say timeless. You know, it, yes, it has a plain front vamp, but it's the materials that just look so great and so easy. And, you know, some of these styles, these are going to become his favorites trust me on that the next style we're going to do is having a nice bit i hope you're enjoying the differences and all the different bits that we do because that's a really great little piece of hardware little piece of accent wear ranked number 15 wow look at that so really nice toe shape and it's in a very handsome black and brown when we do browns we want to make sure it's a rich dark chocolate brown Next style, now we're getting into something that's a little bit more open, but yet closed. Funny how I say that, but here's what I mean. Closed up, but yet open right here on the sides. It's a very traditional style. We also take a lot of our design nod when we design our styles from Europe, because who knows shoes better than Europeans. I mean, it is in their culture as far as growing up and being super fashionable. We're gonna give a nice little bit of the twin goring and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with leather so you don't really see. And look at how we brought it into the design, giving him a nice little wave of a little bit of that cutout. So Bane, and you can see ranked number eight, and I hope you can see why. And I rest assure you, all that comfort is in there. Felix ranked number nine what that means is reorders all the time stay true tried and true there he is really nice toe shape and of course the heel we're going to give all that twin goring where we can as i always say with all of our brands we're going to make sure that we use quality materials even when it comes down to our elastic goring and remember leather lined and leather inside that is a wow for the foot Let's get into something casual, and this is our Abisco, ranked number four. We're gonna give him some padding right around here. Gonna give him a really nice padding around that back heel clip, making sure that it stays on the foot, that it clips the foot. We're gonna give him a little more body in that sole. So you can see, yup, the front has a little bit more of that platform, but that whole body just really kinda gives him something really cushiony to, um, to have his heel strike on and of course to stand up tall as he should and that is our style abisco and you again will see all the details in the catalog the value of these the pricing they are outstanding here's matt matt is a squared off toe giving it a little bit of a dress style but because of the really greatness of the outsole the material you can dress him up or dress him down nice loafer uh, oxford right here where you're giving him a nice tie and we're going to give interest to the side so you have a little bit more of that dimension so again all about the details our next style we want to talk about lightweightness his name is carson and he's lightweight that's something else that is a great characteristic of our spring step men's padding as you can see it i hope it jumps through the screen and of course you're going to have your twin goring right here moves with him really nice and these leathers are so soft they're going to take that shape of the foot and they are going to make you feel good and what happens here with those leathers there's no break in period so you can just take these right out of the box right when you get them and wear them all day that's how great soft and comfortable they are next style is devon Going to give him some toe character because we're all about toe character. Now, a little bit more squared off, but here's what we're doing. Here's where we're giving him the character. Right up here, that's where we're giving him the character. So the toe right across to the side, you can see there is that twin goring, easy in, easy out. And again, nice padding right around the back. So you can see we have such a variety of toe shapes and all that great stuff. Sandals. 
our fellas need to wear sandals. Let's get him open. We want him to wear sandals. I always say this too. Sandals can be worn in the house and outdoors. So think of these as indoor, outdoor. This is our style Nunzia. You can see all that great padding. I mean, I'm hardly pressing here. You can see the great padding, that flexibility, the sole. So this is even better than just a house slipper. That's just my personal opinion. You're going to see the really nice soft leathers, their leather line. These I'm going to use the word buttery soft right here and really just stands out very nicely. In that whole sandals collection, we have our style Jeff. Jeff is a repeat style, giving him a back strap. And the call out here is about the outsole. So the outsole, number one, you can see the really nice shape, but it all has to do with inside here, giving him arch support. It's a footbed that is molded. You have a little bit right here of that toe bar. You do have some of the massaging aspects right here at that ball of the foot. And then you're also going to have something at that back heel, a nice smart brown and a black. And his name is Jeff. Let's take a slide. Let's take that same outsole. Let's do a slide. His name is Ben. And what you'll see there is just a very traditional, nice upper. So just instead of a one band, if you will, we're going to take him, we're going to give him a little bit of openings right there on that side. And of course on the inside, and we're going to give him some lacing, take that leather and kind of lace it right through ranked number 12, nice and lightweight. And remember all that great footbed that we described to you before. This is new. So this next style, and we do have door coming up. This is no far, and you can see, look at how handsome a sandal looks on a jet. So you're gonna see the great cushioning as door is turning. You can see the great, nice arch support, the flexibility that he has, and just how smart it is. When I say buttery soft, these are so, so buttery soft. And look at how smart it is. To me, it's an elevation from just a normal, typical flip-flop. So there you go, get out and enjoy that sunshine and enjoy our style no far. Thank you, Dora, that looks great. Let's talk about things that are, we talked about street smart. We're talking about things that are really right on trend and Staten is the fella. We're gonna take a traditional athletic and we're really gonna jazz him up. We're gonna bring that fashion element. The fashion element, number one, is the color. I really like this tan that I'm showcasing for you here. You can see that outsole, it has a really cool look. It has, it's not exactly clear, it's opaque, and it just has a really nice element. You can see the roundness of the toe, and of course, inside, look at the lining. Yes, it's leather, but also look at the color. So you have the black with the gray, you have this brown also with the gray, just a nice standout and of course just a very nice classic white the next style within this whole group is Trenton gonna give him a white outsole really cool love the shape to me it also goes down to that little bit of the nod of a traditional athletic style love that how we put that suede material mixed together with the leathers elevating it you can see the white laces the white laces are round they're rolled and it goes with look inside look at all that great leather it is white just has a really nice standout clean look and of course you could be assured everything is padded from the tongue all the way to that back heel and that is our style Trenton now number one style is Chris what we've done with Chris is we introduced new colors in the fall doing extremely well it was the cognac color love I can tell you about so many gentlemen in my life let alone the around the office that wear style Chris the commentary that we hear time and time again is how lightweight he is the look of him the comfort of him you're going to see right here is where you have the lycra mixed with the leather the comfort the flexibility is amazing going to give him a little bit of a toggle it's an elasticized lace so this way you can set it slip your foot right in no worries there and of course you're going to see we're going to give him something sporty which is this that little i call it like the pole tab right in the back which of course coincides with that little bit detail right there on the tongue lovely how we pull that all together his name is chris so please mark him in your book because he is number one okay something new 
take notice of that sole. We talked about Street Smart and this says it all. This outsole I'd love to describe to you. So it is, um, it's clear. It has a shiny element, which really brings it to the next level. I want you to see the details, the little, um, what do I want to say? The traction on here really is outstanding. I love how it has a platform look. You can dress this up, dress this down. Really smart navy. I'm going to flash to an image right now so you can see what the other color is. And just look at how well that outsole just looks together with that upper. Really nice and smart looking. And that's our style Dante. Next style, check this out. This is a wow. Dora is gonna come, he's gonna model it for you so you can see the other color. Now, the color in our hand, this is a new buck. So first of all, I wanna talk about the material. It is a new buck. New buck, as you know, is a very high quality grain of leather and it has a really rich, soft hand. Notice the outsole. So it's that same outsole that I was just describing and you can see this really great Blue. Look at how the blue plays against this really more subdued new buck blue. And then look what door has on. Just a really nice neutral color, looking really cool. We're going to give him, of course, really great laces, the comforts there. And it's all about just, I'm just going to say coolness. Cool and hip. And that's our style wet. Okay. There's the olive. Now, when we look at blues and tans and all that we also look at olives olive is such a great neutral color for him next style we're in that whole athletic look let's give him some dimension and how we're doing that is we are going to actually put right around here yeah you can see it has a little shine to it and that also gives the element of the finishes that we do so we're going to give him a little something special there you're going to see gray i'm going to showcase the white but you're going to see the gray that goes around and then we're even giving a little ever so slightly gray right here on the tongue and just look at how it really just blends it looks so gorgeous right there so this is another great style and we just love so many times when we get these styles in that the fellows around the office can't wait to get them here's our black black with that camel color wow is that a smart statement love it let's get into whip whip is a men's version of a fusaro. Let me just kind of put it that way, if you can picture that. What it really means is that it's a stitch construction. Your upper is stitched directly to that outsole. We talk about artistry. We talk about those great techniques of making the shoes. Imagine someone with that whole needle and thread really doing these by hand. Well, that's what you get. I do want to just take one moment so you can see what that removable insole is because it's something super special. We're going to give a heel cup. I hope you can see right here a heel cup and that's going to hold that heel and of course give you great posture. Nice colors, nice pieces of leather here. So super soft, easy and lightweight and durable. So as I talked to you before about shoes that are easy to travel and on the go, these also fit that bill. Next style, Mateo, rank 13. Same exact construction, now you know. So you're gonna talk more into these new box. And as we talked about, it has a really nice soft hand, a great richness. We're bringing in a gray, a black, a navy, and this brown. So we're bringing in those great colors. Let him find that great favorite pair and buy other colors because that's what we're all about. Gonna give him twin goring, easy in, easy out. And that's our style, Mateo highly ranked right up there. The next style here is something that's very traditional and that is our style Lawrence. Lawrence, maybe by the name, but you can tell, made in Italy. We're actually going to give him something that's really light and airy. I really picture this as someone who is wearing the linen pants, wearing the jeans, wearing a pair of khakis. Just very easy, very lightweight. I like how it's that rope. It's not really a jute, but it has that rope, real nice, natural material look. And of course, you have a little bit of the canvas, the canvas that breathes and that is is very easy and that's our style Lawrence as I talk about things that are great materials and light and easy here's the next style his name is Anders getting into more of that fly knit love very much how that outsole is just accented with right there around that 
around that well as far as the color, kind of bringing in that dimension, giving it a toe shape. I just want to kind of point out the toe box because, you know, I have the tags here, but I think it's very important because it is structured. And if you can see, it, it is hard here. And we did that purposely to give him that structure, but yet he's going to get all that ease. I can also tell you here in the back heel it also is structured. So you have right in here, you have that heel right back there where you have a heel counter and that's also important. So those are the standout pieces right there for Anders. Next style is Lugano, ranked number two. How exciting is that? Really nice play on a casual, athletic, just kind of a great mix. You can see that nice outsole, the leathers, the hand. Look at how beautifully and soft they are. Really nice navy. You have a black, and of course, the standout is that brown. Anytime we do browns and bring in that burnished, it's just a wow. You can also see the outsole. So we have a navy color in here, and then a little sliver of that off white, giving in that great dimension. And of course, twin goring, easy on, easy off. Now, the next style is our Espino. I'm just gonna skip right now and I'm gonna go to the next style. I'll circle back in one second, no worries. We're gonna move to our Serrano. Now, I just wanna go to Serrano. I'm gonna tell you that Serrano is ranked number three. Please, please get on Serrano. He is an absolute winner. Very lightweight, really tastefully done. And the great part here is, yes, it's the new box. It's the new box finishing, but it's also that great stitch construction. You can see the stitching right here. I'm gonna point out right there on the well. I want you to see the outsole because that, of course, gives it really nice dimension gives it nice lightweightness, easy to do. And I'm just gonna tell you here, lined, but the perforations are all the way through. We're gonna give him perforations that are on the front, a little larger, and then we're gonna take the design up the sides. We're gonna give all that nice little, it's not punched on the sides, but we're just gonna give ever so slightly, I call them pin dots. So really nice, lightweight, rank number three, and please do mark your catalog with him. I want you to see the taupe. So look at the great color options that we're giving. A taupe is a really just a nice, neutral, very easy for him to wear. Let's get to the next style. We're talking about those stitch constructions. You're gonna see it right here. That gives strength, that gives nice comfort. And in this style, that is rank number five, our Nicolo, you can see we're gonna give him some character around the toe. It's almost that butt stitch that really just kind of accentuates, just giving him a little bit of the line of interest. I hope you can see without even me having to describe all the padding all the way around that back heel and of course, just really nice and lightweight. Pebbled leather gives it that casual, little nod to that casual finish. And that is our rank number five, Nicolo. Let's get into something here with a sandal. Now with this particular sandal, here we go. We're gonna give closed toe, his name is Laredo, closed toe and open back. We're gonna give it a little bit more of like that back strap here, making sure it's padded, making sure it feels really nice on the foot. I'm gonna give a hook and loop closure because that's what we're all about right here. And what I wanna point out is that this strap actually moves. So this way when you're adjusting to your foot, you have that movement, you have that greatness of the adjustability. I'm gonna give him a toe box because we wanna make sure he has room to wiggle the toes ever so slightly little bit of the not exactly cutouts but you can see that style and he's just a really nice start uh, smart style a black and two shades of brown how great is that now we're going to circle back and we're going to go back to espino Espino is ranked number seven, so he is really important for us. As we get into that, you can see the stitch construction. So it groups together with that great same group that I was just explaining to you about. You're gonna have really nice 
back heel counter, a little opening here, even up here, we're gonna give that pad and we wanna make sure that whole foot there is comfortable. There you go, look at the nice toe shape here. You can see that it has a little bit more intricate, I'm gonna say woven look or lacing, if you will, and it just brings a really nice smart style. So like I said, get out of your flip flops, fellas, and get some really nice open but yet closed shoes. So let's go ahead and do it. Number seven, rank. Next style is Enzo. As we go to our style Enzo, the construction here you can see is just a little bit more casual. He has almost a wedge look and um, feel to him, a nice squared off toe that is accented right there by that toe construction, giving it the characteristic. You have now twin goring, but here's the call out. Your twin goring is going all the way from here all the way down here. So it's not just a little V, it's actually a deep V. So you have your twin gore on in, inside also from all the way here, all the way down. And what that's going to do is really give him extra um, comfort and extra ease of getting in. And that is our style Enzo. Let's get into some flip-flops. Now, when I said to you guys, hey, get out of your flip-flops, well, you're going to want to get into these flip-flops because it's the materials and it's the looks that we give. We're all about making sure things are anatomic right here. You're going to feel where that arch lift is. You're going to feel it right in that heel. Hug that foot. Get that heel cup there all the way to the toes. The toe post here is really nice and soft. It's a piece of um, it's a piece of fabric. It almost resembles like a little grow grain ribbon there with some substance and then you can just see a really nice upper I love the take on it I want you to see the activeness to that outsole so you can see him being very active and I just want to give a little shout out to and you'll see in your catalog we have certain styles here that are on the hanging programs you'll see that little icon right there and that is a really great addition for the stores this next style is a really active style so we're going to make sure that he's really secured in there because he might be out there whether it's on trails or biking or whatever so we want to make sure he's really in there we're going to give a lot more support right here on the outside here right on the inside we're giving a little bit longer of this hook and loop so as he's out there he needs to adjust he can do so and of course right across that toe too gonna give some accents of some color fellas let's get into the colors look at the outsole you're gonna see look at the great colors right there look at the traction look at all that greatness that we give and then you're just gonna have a little sweetness right there on the upper to um, to complement that so let's make him fresh and stylish Next group I have for you is our Relife for Men. So as you know, Relife is a huge important piece of our success in our Spring Step Ladies. And we have Relife for Men's. And what does Relife represent? In a nutshell, it's all about the great comfort that it brings. It has a lot of technology that's built in. Technology meaning it's all the, the cylinders here that give all that great absorbent of the heel shock. It's durable, it's also lightweight. And here is our style gradient. So as we talk about it, it's a two-tone outsole, really nicely constructed, and that's what gives its strength, durability, and you can see right here, just a really nice active sandal. So as we get into the styles, Relife is no exception from, it's a lifestyle. And what we mean by a lifestyle is that we are going to make sure there's sandals, there's shoes, there's boots. And when I talked about that cylinder, here it is. Let me just show you here on the outsole so you can see it better. So what's gonna happen is it's a primary cylinder and then the secondary cylinders around it, that's what also absorbs all that shock absorbance as you go. Really nice construction. Also here, we are talking vegan friendly materials. That's another great selling point that is really important to many of us. And you can see the two great colors and that's our style Raymond and he is ranked number 14. 
staying within this Relife. Actually, these next last styles I have for you are the Relife um, collection, so you could be assured. And when I talk about the cylinders, I even want you to see, I mean, it even is here in the insole because it's all throughout. That's really pretty cool. So that's our commitment to, number one, the environment with Vegan Friendly, but also to bring that really great comfort and innovations and technology combined with comfort. A really nice look to him, sporty with the little bit of the, I'm gonna call it the stripes on the sides. And you can see, I hope, all that great padding. Now, on the inside, what we are going to be giving him is a little bit of that textile. And what that does, it, it whisks, whisks it's away the moisture. I always say that's a tongue twister, but it's also nice and soft because right between it, of course, it has that really nice foam to it. So really nice lining and everything about him. His name is Hoover. Next style is Vincent. Let's get into a traditional lace-up. And here you go. A little bit more of that sporty look. And when we say a sporty look right here, it's in that little bit of that toe kick right there that's reminiscent of an athletic style. And I'm gonna spin him around because I want you to see how we're building in the two tones. So yes, you have that nice brown on the back, really nice and rich and you can see how it really complements i'm going to kind of show you the side so you can see that striping right there a really nice toe shape and once again just to point out that great toe box giving enough room right in there for your toes and then also another characteristic of the relife is that we're making sure that it is wide enough and that's our style vincent next style is griffin as you can see, it's another little nod to an athletic look, giving him a little bit more of a round toe. And look at the material. So when I talk about things that are a man-made leather, they have a special touch to them. They have, they go through a triple brushing type of a process to number one, get the look, but also get you the feel. And that's super important to really recognize. The laces are, you know, you can see they're two-tone. So bringing in again, that little bit of the fashion element, it's that same great textile lining, almost like that Trico lining that's right in there. And you can see the sportiness of all the great stripes right there on the side. And that is our spring step. So that's our presentation for men. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you can see and spread all the love to all the wonderful fellas in your life and get some layer tees. Please don't forget about that. So check out the fall. We do have some in stock. And of course, our spring step men's. Many of them are annual for us. So please make sure that you check and we are hoping to see you again really soon. So thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it.